Your words are powerful, became what you say and how you use it. A seed. Everything starts out as a seed of some kind, even humans. But let's imagine a plant seed. That tiny, seemingly insignificant seed carries within it the potential to grow into a towering tree. But for it to flourish, it needs to be planted, nurtured, and given the right environment. Similarly, our words carry a seed-like power waiting to be planted in our lives and the lives of those around us. No wonder why Jesus used seeds to represent words in his parable of the sower. What we speak has the ability to shape our world, influencing our thoughts, actions, and ultimately our destiny. The Bible speaks a lot about the power that words can carry. Proverbs 18.21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Here we see a very, very clear illustration. Our words can either build up or tear down, breathe life or spread despair. This is actually a spiritual law embedded in the operation of the world we live in and our existence. We create with our words, often in ways we do not even realize. In the beginning was the Word, and all things were made by Him. It makes every sense that in a world that was created by spoken world, that words said in the right way, with a strong belief or sense of energy, can shape reality. Also, the seed-like nature of words make it so that when kept or retained in the ground, grow up into a plant that bears fruit of that seed. I am very sure that you know the ground, the heart of a man. The heart, like the womb of a mother, is where the seed of words grow and go on to produce results that shape the outcome and outlook of the life it's growing in. For better understanding, take for example when you constantly declare, I'm not good enough, or I'll never succeed. You're planting seeds of self-doubt and failure. These seeds grow into thoughts that shape your actions. Eventually, your life mirrors the negativity you spoke. On the other hand, when you speak life-giving words like, I am capable, I am blessed, or I can overcome any challenge, you're planting seeds of confidence, hope, and strength. These seeds yield actions and attitudes that reflect growth, resilience, and positivity. In Genesis, God demonstrated the creative power of words by speaking the world into existence. Let there be light, he said, and light appeared. This shows us that words are not just mere sounds or vibrations. Those sounds or vibrations carry divine force and authority. If God, in His perfection, used words to create, then as beings created in His image, our words carry that same creative power. Jesus, too, used words as a tool of power and authority. He spoke to storms and calmed them. He healed the sick with a simple word. He even raised Lazarus from the dead by calling, Lazarus, come forth! He didn't need to touch Lazarus or perform a ritual. His words alone held the power to bring life where there was death. God told the prophet Jeremiah in Jeremiah chapter to desist from saying to himself that he was only but a child. You see, God wanted to speak to the household of Israel through the prophet Jeremiah, but he was concerned that he would speak speaking to the elders and mighty men of the land. And being younger, he uttered the statement that, I am a child. God warned him from such because those words would have planted the thoughts of low self-esteem and doubt which would eventually prevent him from delivering God's message the way he ought or to whom he should. How we use our words reflects who we are. The spiritual principle that our words reflect who we are runs deep into the essence of spiritual transformation and identity. Words are vessels through which we communicate intention and faith. They reveal what resides within, much like a well from which water flows, whether clear or muddied. Jesus taught that our words directly reveal the condition of our hearts, for out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks. Matthew 12, 34. This furthermore reveals the foundational truth of spiritual life. Words cannot disguise the spirit behind them. They pour forth from the spirit, mirroring, whether it's filled with love or stained by bitterness, rooted in faith or eroded by fear. When we look at what's behind our words, we find two essential components at work, intention and belief. 
What we say is rarely empty. It carries a certain weight and momentum from what we believe in our hearts. If our hearts are dominated by fear, our words will bear witness to that, often laced with anxiety or hopelessness. But if our hearts are shaped by faith and truth, our words carry the power to bring light and strength not only into our lives but into the lives of others. Become what you say. Becoming what you say, that concept is not just about positive thinking. For us believers, it is rather about falling in spiritual alignment with God's truth. Our words act as declarations that can either affirm our identity in Christ or distance us from it. The Bible in the book of Psalms 107 and in verse 2 points out something interesting. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. God invites us to use our words to affirm the reality and identity he has obtained for us. You who have been redeemed say it. You who have been set free say it. You who have been made the head in Christ say it. When we speak negatively, we are unknowingly forging a spiritual agreement with that negativity and opposing that which the Lord has said over us, welcoming the negative into our lives. However, when we align our words with God's promises and accomplishments through Christ, we tap into the authority of His Word, which is unshakable. Paul's statement in Romans 4.17 that God gives life to the dead and calls into being things that were not is an invitation to participate in divine creation. God didn't speak the world into existence because he merely hoped for it. He spoke because he is truth, and when truth speaks, reality aligns. Similarly, when we declare, I am blessed, I am healed, or I am loved, we aren't creating an illusion. We are aligning with what is real in God's perspective, inviting that reality to manifest in our physical lives. Speaking God's truth over our lives calls our spirit and circumstances into agreement with His promises, spiritual authority, and the power behind our words. Our words carry weight. They're not just sounds or passing thoughts. They're instruments of real influence, especially when we understand the spiritual authority that comes through our faith in Jesus. As believers, we have been given a share in God's authority. When we speak words of faith, we are trusting God's promises to come alive in our lives, even if we can't see them just yet. Again, Romans 4.17 describes God as one who calls things that are not as though they were, showing us that faith means speaking God's truth, even when it hasn't fully shown up in our lives. Jesus shows us this kind of authority in his life. His word shifted reality, bringing healing, life, and transformation. When he told a paralyzed man, get up and walk, Mark 2.11, or called Lazarus from the grave, John 11.43, he wasn't just making suggestions. He was bringing God's will into the physical world. Through his words, spoken with authority and deep faith, he brought heaven's reality to earth. Remember, he said, greater works than the one he did is what we would do. In this authority, we are not using words as a kind of magic. We are using words as a way to connect with God's power, to sort of channel God's power that we have access to through the Holy Spirit in the direction we want. When we align our hearts and words with God's promises, filling our minds with His Word over and over and over again, we start reflecting His nature. We then speak from a place of faith, inviting His peace where there's chaos, His joy where there's sorrow, and His life where there's brokenness. As we speak life-giving words, we align ourselves with the creative power of God. This may not cause everything to change instantly, but it creates the room for God to work. The more we allow His Word to shape our thinking and actions, the more our words will reflect His truth, and that's when true transformation begins. The transformative effect of consistent faithful speech. Transformation doesn't happen overnight. It's a journey of showing up day after day. Each time we speak life, hope, and truth over ourselves and others, we are planting seeds that gradually take root. Repetition is powerful. The more we repeat God's truth, the more it shifts from something we consciously practice to something that becomes part of who we are. 
This is why God instructed his people to meditate on his word constantly and to surround themselves with it, writing it on their doorposts, headbands, and even talking about it at all times. Deuteronomy 6, 6 through 9. The purpose of these instructions was to let God's truth sink deep into their hearts and minds, driving it into their subconscious so that his wisdom became part of their instinct and daily decisions. James 3 reminds us that our words, though small, are like the rudder of a ship. They may look tiny compared to everything else, but they steer the whole course of our lives. Repeating words that align with God's promises doesn't just steer us toward his plans, it gradually makes faith second nature, guiding our thoughts, decisions, and attitudes from a place of deep conviction. Our words, repeated consistently, are like seeds in a garden. What we plant and nurture will grow. If we want to see love, strength, and purpose flourish, it starts with choosing words of faith and hope. Instead of just describing our circumstances, our words can elevate them to align with God's promises. Speaking in faith may not change everything overnight, but through repetition, we are rewiring our mindset, creating new patterns that naturally align with God's truth. With time, this practice transforms us, making His Word a constant, quiet influence over our lives and preparing us for God's work to unfold fully. Practical Ways to Harness the Power of Words Here's a closer look at some simple but powerful ways we can use our words to create positive change in our lives and the lives of others. 1. Guard your tongue. Every word we speak has a weight, especially over time. Our words influence not only our relationships with others, but also how we see ourselves and our situations. When we choose words that uplift rather than harm, we create an environment that reflects life, strength, and hope. Before you speak, take a moment to pause and ask yourself questions like, is this bringing life or harm? Is it a reaction to fear, anger, or insecurity? This may take some practice, but as you get into the habit, it will start to feel natural. By choosing life-giving words in even tough moments, we create a more resilient, hopeful mindset. You can even pray or take a few deep breaths when faced with frustration to help bring awareness and intention to your words. Two, use affirmations. Affirmations are a way of intentionally planting new beliefs in your heart and mind. Words we hear often enough settle into our subconscious, becoming beliefs that shape our actions, confidence, and resilience. Consistent affirmations can help rewrite negative thoughts and doubts, replacing them with truths that empower us. How to do it. Create a few simple affirmations that speak to who you want to become. Instead of focusing on what you lack, affirm who you are or are growing into. For example, I am courageous. I am loved and valuable. I am capable of overcoming challenges. Say these affirmations every morning or whenever you need a confidence boost. Writing them down on sticky notes where you can see them helps keep them front of mind. Over time, these affirmations become like roots that keep you grounded, even when things are tough. 3. Bless others with your words. Just as our words shape our lives, they shape the lives of those around us. A simple, kind word can impact someone's entire day and even their overall confidence and self-worth. When we choose to speak life, encouragement, and positivity into others, we're planting seeds of hope and love that can have ripple effects we may never fully see. So make it a habit to look for opportunities to encourage others. Compliment someone on their work, remind them of their strengths, or simply thank them for who they are. Instead of holding back or assuming people know you care, take a moment to tell them. If you sense someone might be struggling, let them know you're there for them. Sometimes a simple, you're doing a great job, or I'm here for you if you need anything, can go a long way. And remember, it's not just about saying big things. Small, genuine words often have the greatest impact. Each of these practices may seem small, but they carry a powerful impact over time. When we're intentional about the words we choose, whether speaking to ourselves, to others, or about our lives, we're using one of the greatest tools we have for growth, connection, and change. Conclusion, our words are like seeds planted in the garden of our lives. 
They may seem small, but they carry tremendous power to shape who we are, what we believe, and how we experience the world. When we speak, we are reflecting what's in our hearts, revealing our inner beliefs, and setting the course for our lives. Every word is an expression of who we are becoming and what we hold dear. Throughout Scripture, we see God emphasizing the importance of words, reminding us to meditate on His promises, repeat His truths, and even write them down as constant reminders. The reason for all these was to let His truth sink so deeply within us that it becomes instinctive the way we naturally respond to life. Each time we speak His truth over ourselves or others, we are building faith, spreading hope, and creating space for transformation to take root. When we begin guarding our words, affirming what God says about us, and also blessing others, we are bearing witness to a faith that has the power to uplift and change those around us. It may feel slow, and sometimes we may not see immediate change, but every word of faith, encouragement, and love shines like a tiny light in a dark world, and it will never go unnoticed. With time, our words, spoken with faith, will become mirrors of God's love, showing others the power of hope, healing, and renewal. So, let us choose our words with care, speak with boldness and wisdom, grounded in God's promises, our words are not just for us, they are a divine meant to bless, uplift, and inspire everyone we encounter. Embrace this gift and let your words become instruments of God's love, faith, and transformation in the world.